right, so that looks pretty good. Got my parts laid out. This is a universal exhaust kit. This video is going to be a beginner's guide on how to put an exhaust together for a custom application. And let's just get started. And now, you're watching the first ever active and official presidential MySpace page channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what's happening? Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So what I have right here, this is just a universal exhaust kit. Now I wanted to buy something so that way we would have a base to build on. I don't have a tube bender. I know not a lot of you guys out there have tube benders either if you're watching a video like this. So what this kit actually comes with, it comes with four 45 degree bends. So four of these, four 90 degree bends, and also four 180s. Now the good thing about the 180s, you can go ahead and cut them in half and then you can utilize them as a 90. Also it comes with four four foot sections. So this universal kit, this will take care of basically any kind of application that you have. It would take care of a small car or a truck, even if you wanted to do a dual exhaust on a decent sized truck, I think it would be fine. And also they sell these little straights on their own. So this kit is gonna be exactly what you need to get you where you need to be. Now that we have the car up in the air, we want to ask ourselves a couple of questions. Do we want to run a dual exhaust or a single exhaust? I personally like a single for this car, so that's what I'm going to do. So for a single exhaust, you have two headers. That's got to come into a Y pipe. Two pipes that come into one, that's what the Y pipe is. So let's go ahead and start to get that figured out. first is I figured or I figured out where exactly I want to have my Y pipe at but we can't just have a Y pipe that's sitting completely flat like this orientated this way you know because that would be ideal but this system and this car was never ever meant to have an exhaust like this with a drive shaft and everything else so instead of it sitting completely flat we need it to have some type of an angle so I want it to sit a little bit like that. So the first thing that I did, or the first thing that I'm gonna do, is figure out on this pipe where exactly I want my 12 o'clock position to be. So do I want the exhaust to be angled this much? Do I want it to be angled up? All the way down this way? So I just go ahead and find my 12 o'clock position. After I figure out what that is, or after I figured out what that was, let's just do this for an example. Let's just say I wanted to angle this much, and you figure out that you want your 12 o'clock position to be right there. Now what you gotta do for a Y pipe is you gotta cut the Y pipe in half so that way it can become one pipe. The two pipes can become one, meaning that Y shape. So we got one mark, now how do we find our other mark? I'll show you that right here. So one thing that I do know, this is two and a half inch piping. I just measured it, I know that to be true for certain. So half of two and a half is one and three quarters. So that's what I have right here, that's one and three quarters. Now also this, this is exactly one and a half, so one and a half plus one and three quarters is actually two and three quarters. So that's this mark right here. So I just have this little jig, everybody has a framing square, everybody has a speed square, just put it together. So with the piece that we marked our 12 o'clock position on, just line that up with one of these, here we go just like that and then where this mark falls is going to be where the other one needs to be so that needs to stay true once you make your two marks so i'll go ahead we'll just hypothetically say this is the first one the other one is going to be so i just line this up with my first one the other one is going to fall in place perfectly because we did all these measurements and marked everything off so all you got to do is measure on the inside and just roll it over just a little bit. So that's cutting that pipe perfectly in half. Now if you don't have a bandsaw, a nice bandsaw, keep in mind, 
you're not gonna be able to do this. So you're gonna have to do it by hand like I'm gonna have to do. Now I got a bandsaw, it's just not big enough and beefy enough to handle what I need to do right now. So we're gonna have to do it by hand. So we have our two marks, one right here, one right there. And again, that's exactly half the size of the pipe. So then we come here, put it on the table. I find my mark. I use my framing square. And then I just draw a line straight up, 90 degrees off the table from where that is. And I come around to my other mark. And then I did that for both of these. These were the lines going up. Then I did the same thing on the other side. These were also the lines going up. Then on the inside, you just kind of kind of eyeball it as best as you can. If you look right down this plane, try to connect one to the other and do that. You can kind of look at it and see if it's swerving one way, swerving the other way. It's not going to work out very good. Then also, just to check your work at the end, if you take your entire diameter, which is two and a half, these two lines should be, see I have this set for two and a half, these two lines all the way down on both sides should be exactly two and a half apart. You want to take two and a half away to be left with two and a half total. Since these two pieces are butted up together, so I'm going to go ahead, cut down these lines, and then I'll be able to butt these up together and get them welded. And that's how much of an angle down I want, because this is going to be a very low point in the car. This is right about where the trans mount is. So it's going to be header, come around the corner, trans mount, and then that's where I want it to turn into one right below the beginning of the drive shaft. So once you make your cuts, clean it up a little bit, it's going to look a little bit crazy, but there's a couple ways that you can check your work. Number one, if you just take a regular old straight edge, make sure that it sits on there pretty nicely, pretty flush all the way around. That's gonna tell you that's that's gonna tell you if it's true, straight, good. And also, what I have right here, this is a 2.5 ID OD inner diameter, outer diameter, meaning this sleeve should be able to slide on both pieces when they're together and that's going to check our work to make sure that we cut it in half correctly to have a good one size piece when it comes to the end. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put them together as best as I can. That looks pretty damn good. Slide that on there just like that. And that is what we are left with, a nice tight uniform gaff that looks really good now keep in mind i'm just going to tack this together and another thing we don't need all this length on here that just so happens to be the size of the 45 that we were using so once we get it kind of tacked up i'm going to make an additional cut and then just go off of there and then this which is slid on the end over here that'll be slid just about there for the next piece and the reason for that is we want as minimal welds as possible on the entire exhaust just more stuff for the exhaust to get snagged on as it's trying to come out and I think that looks better. So again, a lot of this excess is not needed, but it's useful to have on there as you're, as you're setting everything up. So just a couple small tacks on there. And also I wanted to leave this on just so that way I can make sure it stays in round or doesn't become out of round as I'm tacking it together. But now I got five good tacks on there definitely not definitely not gonna go anywhere so as it sits underneath the car with this little angle that we got it's gonna dip around the lowest point and then come back up underneath the trans tunnel so now that we have the Y together I held it underneath the car and I actually needs to get a little bit of help hard to film and help and all that stuff but I'll just show you now exactly what I did so here we are this is the Y that's why I wanted it at an angle so it can duck down in here and duck down this way I went ahead and I welded it all up so after we had that first 45 I came on an additional 45 going towards the header that's on both directions so now it goes header to 45 to our 45 Y 
header 45 to our 45y and now where we are we are sitting right here so now we just got to focus on filling this out from there figuring out how I want this to run I think I want it to tuck up in this corner by the diff come around the corner around the corner around the gas tank and we'll get that figured out so with that one piece as it comes out I need it to move over kind of around the diff then run underneath the frame rail and then come out so that's two 90s well hypothetically it's 290s but it's not exactly 290s see no car is going to be exactly perfect on what you can run but the good thing about this stuff is you see this this is just 90 90 so this is just going to keep you going but move you over but if you don't exactly need that what you can do is take a piece and cut it down a little bit at the angle that you need and then once you put it together you're kind of sitting at a completely different angle than a 90 and a 90. So the way that this is going to work, this is going to be coming from right underneath the diff and then that's going to throw me out exactly where I need to be. See, I cut it, held it together underneath the car and then I went ahead and I marked it so that way I can always return it back to the same spot. That's not right, that's not right, that's not right, but right and there, that's exactly where I need to be to go ahead and get this tech together. See, as I'm building an exhaust, something that I like to do and that I've always done and you could do it however you want and I know other people do it differently but I like to figure out the difficult sections a step head and then connect it to the previous section I know some people like to just start from the front work their way back or the back to the front do it however you want but I have found that doing it how I'm doing it works best for example I made that Y put it where I needed it to be connected it to the headers now I'm making this S piece and then I'm gonna put it where I want it to be, where I need it to be, and then connect it back to where it currently is. So this piece right here is the one we just tacked up. I went ahead and I connected it back to that little resonator that I got. Little glass pack muffler resonator, whatever you wanna call it. So now that's connected. That's there. This is the one we just mocked up and then I got it dumped out to right there. Now if we just had a straight, now if we just had a straight come out of there, that would come about this way, but I want it to come out of the OEM location. So we gotta come forward 90 this way and then 90 back forward. But the 90s in the kits, they are not good for a tight turn like that. So what I'm thinking is if I have this hypothetically in line with where the pipe is at and then this hypothetically in line with where I want it you can go ahead and see where I need to make my next two cuts and then I'm just gonna have to butt this one up to that one I might want to angle it up just a little bit and I'll leave all the length on it so that way I can cut it later if I decide I want to do so so that's that's my next cut and that's where we are So what we have right here laid out is the old exhaust that I just whipped together versus this newer one which I took a little bit more time doing now. It's so funny, when you lay out an exhaust it looks completely crazy, like it looks like it doesn't make any sense at all, but that's because it's built around a car that's not a perfectly regular shape and you're kind of ducking and diving around a couple of things. So a couple of things about the old exhaust or why I wanted to change this is because first of all with this one I just did a bunch of pie cuts and nothing looked that good and this was my biggest problem. I didn't like the way this Y came together because it was all going this way so I figured or I felt like it could be pushing pressure that way not all coming down clean don't get me wrong this design worked but I just didn't like it it doesn't look very clean also some of the corners aren't that nice so this design this style that we have right here is just nice and easy comes together comes down and around through the little muffler dives over just a little bit then the diff is right there then the gas tank actually sits right in this square so that swoops around and then it exits out the back at a little bit of an angle so now the only thing is let's go ahead and take this one and get it thrown on that car and wrap this thing up finally exhaust another thing checked off the list when this video is over right
so what I ended up doing, I threw a couple hangers up there. I did three total. You could do as many or as little as you would like. I would recommend at least three. That's what I did. One at each side of the headers, one at the very back. I might add another one just to, just to stiffen that up a little bit to pull it from one side, pull it from another side, then it's not gonna wander. But dude, I am extremely happy with how this came out. It sounds phenomenal, nice and throaty, not too loud. And I think it's gonna be running, flowing, and doing everything a lot more healthy now than it was before. That old style just, it just wasn't working out. So as far as beginner's guide to building your own exhaust, number one, I would just say take your time. Number two, get a base, get something to work with because trying to make all kinds of pie cuts is just not gonna work out. But it can be done with minimal tools. All I used was an angle grinder and a welder. You don't need a lift, you can put your car up on jack stands. Yeah, it's a pain to work with, but not everybody has a lift. We're just out here doing what we can with what we have. And that is going to be it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I will see you on the next one. I'm out.